All right. All right, you guys know I don't own the copyrights, so I can't show you the actual videos. So I click through them. Annie Ozo. Uh this is this this is the game yesterday, and I knew that Philly was gonna lose. I said that the Raptors were gonna beat them uh, in one of my live videos uh, two days ago. Uh, it would have been a better story if the Raptors would have actually lost. Uh, because of Philly and how far they've come in a very short time. Got to understand, Philly just three years ago was in very last place. And, you know, then they got, well, it was, it was three years ago, right? And then they got uh, some superstars, indeed, Simmons and a couple others, and started making things happen. Anyway, the introduction to the Raptors and Kawhi Leonard is kind of LeBron James-esque because, which is Michael Jordan-esque. Uh, well, Michael Jordan Wizards-esque. Uh, when Kawhi's on the floor, the team is a whole lot better. Uh, they go, oh, let me say this. When Kawhi's on the floor, the team is in playoff con contention. When Kawhi is not on the floor, the team automatically drops to, you know, below average. And we've seen this happen with the Wizards and Jordan when, whenever he left uh, or when he got hurt, you know, the team started going downwards. And when he left, you know, they pretty much went into obscurity. And the same thing with LeBron James, whenever he's on the floor in Cleveland, they were dynamite. Whenever he walked off the floor, production went down considerably. And now he's with LA, and Cleveland is in obscurity. They only won 19 games. So Kawhi Leonard, they don't even know if he's going to stay or not. I think he has one of them yearly contracts. Um, and he's trying to figure out what he's going to do. Mind you, what Kawhi Leonard did uh, last year, he's, you know, prone to do again. He pretty much feigned an injury that nobody knew. And he, you know, just sat on the sidelines and, you know, collected a check. But this man is a very good basketball player. He's good in the clutch. And Max Ellerman was talking about how Kawhi Leonard's average actually goes up in the clutch. Now, one of those reasons is because he doesn't really have anybody else who is as good as him on the team. And uh, so he takes over, you know, and uh, they try to actually compare him to Michael Jordan. And a lot of people are trying to do that as far as in the clutch where Michael Jordan made the shot, you know. And uh, in this case, Kawhi Leonard, you know, is being called upon to do the same thing. So I just wanted to kind of set that up. Nonetheless, I'm just going to kind of get through some of this here because it's a bunch of talk and they're setting, they're, they're pretty much setting up four seconds of the game to go ahead and uh, play last four seconds with the ball uh, pretty much on, as you can see here, it's like the saw. So it's on the... Uh, Raptor side. Now, there's something else I wanted to talk about here. Sorry if you guys just wanted to see this whole video. This is on World Star. You can see it anywhere pretty much. But that's not what this channel does. We do, uh, we analyze and we are skeptics. That's what we are. So, this was brought up to me recently. This was brought up to me about the basketball having weights on it. Now, I wanted one of these basketballs. Like, I want to actually get one because they're saying they're selling them. 
And I want to know what is the, how powerful is the magnet? What is the weight differential when it comes to, you know, how the magnet is distributed? And um, the reason why I bring it up is because of the shot that Kawhi takes. Now, Kawhi gets the ball from Gasol, comes in, goes around, and this is Kawhi here. I think this is Joel Embiid right here. So he goes around the defender, comes here, and boom, bounce once. Bounce twice. Bounce three times, four times. The ball bounces four times and goes in. Now, let me say this about this shot. Uh, who's it? Uh, Chris is not on first take. He's on Undisputed. He says, i never seen a ball. He says, i never seen a ball bounce like that and go in. He said the, bounce, the ball bounced four times. He said, I've never seen a ball bounce like this. And let me tell you something. I've seen a ball do some crazy stuff just with, you know, me playing ball. Uh, you know, get stuck on the rim. You know, you, you've seen it do weird stuff. But the fact that people are talking about a magnetized ball is making this shot right here. And what Chris was saying, it, it really makes you start to wonder. I'm not saying it's true, but I'm saying the dynamics of what this ball did and what Chris said, this is an analyst on Undisputed, what he said, when you listen to what he's talking about, it just baffled me like, I need to take a look at this shot because I really didn't care until he said something. I'm going to go back one more time. And I wish I had a close-up of this. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. Because this is very interesting. To me, this ball should have hit off the rim and went right back to Kawhi. To me. But what do I know? I'm just a sideline jockey. One, two, three, four. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. But I don't watch basketball. It's just too fictitious for me. Uh, although there are some truths that do transform. They, these guys are far better athletes than I will ever be. And uh, no average person can get on the floor and rock with them. So it's very true that they are highly athletic uh, and highly skilled individuals. You can't take that from them. Uh, but the arena itself and what they've done to basketball is not all fiction. It's not all real. And... One more thing I'd like to add. I was talking to Alex Davis last night and told him that the Raptors aren't going to, they're not going to go to the championship. And he said, why? I said, because they're from Toronto. And that's America's game. He said, well, why in baseball did, you know, Toronto win uh, two championships, two World Series? And I said, okay, fine. I'll bet you that the Bucks will be the Raptors. Any way around, the, the, the Raptors will not win the championship. They're not going to beat Golden State. Golden State just beat the best team out there in Game 6 without KD. They just beat the best possible chance of beating Golden State. A 30-year-old James Harden just got beat in game six at home. 
Anything else is storyline. The Bucks are the number one seed in the league with 60 games. So um, I'm, I'm sorry to say that the Raptors, this is as far as they go. We've seen them do this before. When they got when when they met up against Cleveland, they folded. Why? Not because they are a terrible team. Is because they were supposed to fold. This is all storyline. And is Kawhi gonna stay after after they get beat by the Bucks? Will he stay? The answer is no. Because he's going to see it for himself. Kawhi is going to, look, Kawhi is going to see it. He's going to be awakened. He's going to see the menagerie. He's going to see the coonery. And all this, they'll hell you, then they'll nail you. All this is going to be reversed. Just look at the next series. You're going to see someone get praised and then get questioned in one, like in, in one fell swoop. It's, it won't even be, look, it's not even a whole season. It's just in, in a matter of a week, you're going to see Jesus Christ superstar and then they're going to nail him to a cross. You're going to see it. <laughs> When this is all over, they're, they're praising him now. They'll be questioning him when the series is over is with the Bucks. Look, I hope I'm wrong. But Toronto will not go to the championship and win. If they go, I'll be surprised. Heck, that's 20 bucks lost. Not a big deal. But they will not win. They will not win. Not unless the Trailblazers beat Golden State. I'm sorry. I just can't see that. I can't see it at all. So here's what I think is going to happen. I think the Bucks are going to show up, even though Kawhi Leonard's a better story. I think the Bucks are going to beat them 4-2. Because no matter who you have, on the Raptors, no matter who you have, they're still going to go down. It just doesn't matter. This is all a show. This is all hype. This is all Drake. This is all just a show. It's not real. Are these people real? Yes. But is it scripted? Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely Why? For ratings. You think the ratings didn't just go through the roof now? I'm sorry, Joel Embiid. I'm sorry, Embiid. I'm sorry you, you had to break down and cry. But Embiid, the reason why nobody thought you guys were going to go, uh, even as far as you are now, is because you're too young. And when they mean by you're too young and you're too experienced, they mean you don't understand the dynamics of the NBA. That's what they mean by that. You're too young. You're too green. You don't understand. It doesn't matter how many balls you dunk, you how many threes you shoot. None of that matters. All that matters is the script, Embiid. And right now, it's not scripted for you to win. Give him about another three years, 76ers. You guys might win one for Dr. J. But right now, you're going to have to sit down. Just, right, just I'm sorry, you, you're a grown man crying, but... And B, you're just a you're just a little too young to get it. You're just way too young to get it right now. You gotta grow up a little bit. You know, take this one on the chin, walk it out, come back next year, play your heart out, but look and see what the script is and B. And then you won't cry next year when you lose, because you're gonna lose next year in the playoffs. Hell, you might lose to the same team. Nah, you'll probably lose to the Celtics.
nonetheless, you didn't see Kawhi Irving crying. I mean, uh, uh, Kyrie Irving crying. You know why? Because they know the script. Anyway, it's your boy Tone 202. The Raptors are going to lose against the Bucks. Even if they do win, they will not beat Golden State. The only way the Raptors will win a championship this year is if the Trailblazers injure, injure Iguodala, Clay, and Curry. But they're not going to injure Curry. Curry would have to injure himself, just like KD did. But you knock those two players out, Iguodala, Clay, and then you have a struggling Curry, you might have a victory out of the Trailblazers. And if that happens, then you might have a victory out of the Raptors, but it'll be, I just can't see it. Golden State wins it all. It's your boy Tone 2 2.